YouTube. In today's video, we're gonna do some late summer foraging. We've been having uh, quite a bit of rain lately, so it's pretty damp out here, and that's a good time to a good time to find a lot of different types of mushrooms. So, uh, yeah, we're gonna have a look around and see what we can find today. Personally, I have very little experience uh, foraging for mushrooms, and that's because I understand there's a lot of risks risks involved with foraging mushrooms. Same with identifying plants. You really want to know what you're eating before you eat it. But uh, with mushrooms, it could actually be quite a bit harder to identify them sometimes. So uh, I've never really taken the chance yet. But today I'm going to do my best and hopefully find some uh, edible mushrooms. And then if I do find any good mushrooms for the first time ever, I'm actually gonna try to eat ones that I found in the wild. And uh, only after doing extensive research to make 100% sure that I know it's the right species. Cause uh, I'm not gonna take any chances with that. So I found something here. Now this, I believe is a type of uh, edible jelly fungus. Look at that. It's interesting there. There's some more of it here. It's just growing on the side of this uh, dead tree here. I don't think I'm gonna harvest this because uh, there's a very small amount. And um, I read online that uh, it's edible but flavorless and uh, not one that people generally, I don't think it's one that people generally seek out, but uh, yeah, it's uh, fun to eat apparently. Just make sure uh, Make sure you know it's the right species. All right, so here, I believe this is another type of edible mushroom. I think this is crested coral. And uh, from what I read online, crested coral is edible, but uh, I don't think it's supposed to be a very good one. And it's a pretty insubstantial meal, I believe. Uh, doesn't look like there's a whole lot of it here. I mean, it's everywhere. But, yeah, you know, it's, it's not very much. So I'm going to leave those, uh, those mushrooms alone until I find something a little more substantial. Yeah, here's a little cluster of yellowfoot chanterelles. So these aren't a true chanterelle, but they are uh, closely related. And they're supposed to be delicious, so uh, I think I'll harvest some of these after we uh, make sure that I properly identify them. And uh, I'm going to try to eat them. Alright, there's a nice little cluster of uh, chanterelles, uh, yellowfoot chanterelles, sorry. Look at the indentation at the top. It actually goes all the way through the stem of the mushroom. So that's one way, just one way to uh, identify them. Although you shouldn't use that alone to identify them. There are uh, a few other things to look for, but uh, I definitely suggest doing your own research because I'm not an expert. This is my first time harvesting them. Look at those bad boys. Now this mushroom here, this little one, um, this is probably one that you might easily, easily mistake with a uh, yellow foot chanterelle. So you can see they're a very similar color, but uh, look at the top there's no hole going down the middle so I'm almost positive that this can't be a yellow foot chanterelle but I think this would be a uh, wax cap mushroom and some of them are edible although I don't really know much about them so uh, do your own research uh, these are ones that I'm just gonna leave alone now this here looks like chaga to me although i'm not going to harvest it today because it's growing on a dead log and i heard 
that you should only harvest it from a living tree. So uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna just uh, leave that. So I just looked it up just now, and the reason you don't harvest chaga from a dead tree is because um, it's likely filled with, or it's likely contaminated with uh, something called mycotoxins. Um, so yeah, something worth avoiding. So I think this one is called Golden Spindle. Um, it's not edible, but man, that is a weird looking fungus, isn't it? <laughs> Almost looks like little uh, Play-Doh spaghetti strands or something. Now there is a weird looking mushroom. Look how purple it is. Looks like that uh, weird purple uh, McDonald's thing, whatever it's called. Grimace. It looks like Grimace. That's what he's called. That's another little piece of jelly fungus there. I love how weird this stuff is. Such a weird fungus. Now, I'm not sure, but I think this might be a type of uh, Amanita mushroom. Um, I'm definitely not going to mess with these ones because uh, they can be some of the most toxic, uh, some of the most toxic mushrooms in North America, if they're the type that I'm thinking of. Um, but the thing is, although some of them might be the most poisonous in North America, most of them are non-poisonous, and some of them are actually really good for eating. But uh, I'm not going to chase, take my chances with anything in the Amanita family for now until I'm. Uh, more comfortable with identifying mushrooms and knowing what I'm doing. Now here's some more of them that haven't gotten knocked over yet. I'm not sure if this is another one of the Amanita ones. I think it looks like one to me. Uh, it's really cool looking though, eh? So one type of mushroom that I'd really love to find uh, is called chicken of the woods. I've never had the chance of finding it yet. That would be a nice find if I could find it. So I don't think this one's edible, but look how weird it is. It looks like, uh, looks like somebody put spray foam in it. <laughs> so weird.